Hi everyone, welcome to another important video from IMS Get Set Law. So today we are going to see how to prepare for CLAT 2025 quantitative technique section in the remaining last four months that is August, September, October and November. So let's go ahead. First important point, one should prepare a schedule that how he or she is going to prepare in the remaining last four months. A weekly schedule is very important. Some important points that we should discuss is a lot at least three to four days of the week for preparation of QT with minimum two hours allotted each day. So we should be giving at least two hours and at least three to four days in a week. That much preparation is sufficient or rather minimum I would say. So for QT taking in consideration the weightage of QT we have decided that this much allocation for QT section in a week is necessary and sufficient also. Next important point is invest at least 70% of the time allotted for QT on most important topics like percentage ratio, average profit loss and data interpretation. So most of your preparation should be on the areas which are being asked again and again in CLAT from last four to five years, which has high weightage. So you should also prepare most of the time on these important topics. And prepare a to-do list for every week and tick mark the task once completed so that you give a sense of, get a sense of achievement that you have completed the tasks that you decided in that particular week. So keep following such schedule every week. Next important point is how to prepare for a topic. To learn the basic concepts and formulae. First important thing for preparing any topic is basic concepts and formulae of that topic. Then we should solve the word problems based on that topic so that we understand the application of concepts and formula that we have learned. We understand that applying of concepts in the given word problems. And then we should move towards solving caselets based on these topics because in CLAT we know that under QT section caselets that is passage based questions will be there in quantitative technique section. So application of these concepts and formulae first has to be done in word problem and then we move to caselets so that we understand the important data from the passage and then we solve the questions asked on that passage as per the concepts of that particular topic. And next work on improving calculation speed and accuracy along with learning concepts and formula it is very important that we solve the questions quickly and accurately. Your calculation speed will also matter because you cannot spend too much time on any particular section. So same is the case for quantitative techniques. You cannot spend too much time. So you should be fast with the calculation. Whatever number of questions will be asked, that will be around 10 to 12 questions in this section. So you cannot spend more than 20 minutes for this particular section. That's why your speed of calculation should be fast as well as accurate. Next important point is learn the basic concepts of each topic in the order that is mentioned here. So order of topics, first we have taken important topics like percentage, ratio, average, profit, loss and data interpretation. Then lesser important topics should be prepared in the later stages. So simple interest and compound interest and geometry, algebra, time, speed, distance and time and work. This six number and seven number, these topics are lesser important for CLAT. So you should prepare it later. You should keep most of your time for the first five topics that are mentioned here and your order of preparation should be as mentioned here. If we look at monthly breakup of how we should go about it in first two months, that is August and September, we should complete the basic concepts of important topics and also the question solving. So first two months you should completely focus on the important topics that we have discussed in previous slide. So most of your energy should be spent on the topics that are most likely to be asked in CLAT. Next important point, in the third month complete all the basic concepts and question solving of the less important topics that we discussed previously. 
so topics like geometry algebra time speed distance time and work simple interest compound interest these should be prepared in the month of october and then solve questions on it then in the fourth month revise all the concepts of all the topics that is in november you should keep only for revision of all the concepts that you have learned and keep solving the questions based on caselets in month of november next important point is regular mock test solving so we should solve mock tests regularly so that you understand your strength and weakness you understand how to solve questions in which order one should always solve the questions in order from easy to medium to difficult it is not that if you find difficult question in the very first passage and first question itself is difficult and you start solving it and spend too much of your time on that question then you will not be able to allocate the time for qt section properly that's why it is very important to identify easy questions and that is possible when you are solving the mocks regularly you will create a habit you will you will be habituated of finding out the easy questions first then medium question solving and then if time permits then only go for solving difficult questions otherwise leave those questions so this skill will be developed only when you are solving the mock test regularly so each week you should solve at least one mock after solving the mock it is very important to analyze the mock to understand your strength and weakness accordingly so not only solving the mocks but analyzing your strength and weakness is also very important so these are the points to be remembered for solving mock test and these are some important points that we discussed to be taken care of in preparation of your quantitative techniques in last 4 months so you can score very well in qt section because there are only two passages and five to six questions on each passage it can be a scoring area if you go like this if you go with a plan prepare with a plan solve mock test regularly revise all the concepts work on your calculation speed if you just focus on these points you can very well score 90 to 95% of the marks in this particular section so thank you everyone keep watching all the important stuff on ims get set law